Hello, Hacienda La Puente. This is Ricardo Juan Lovirte Rosas. And today we are going to spend some time talking about the Canvas mobile app. So um, the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to your phone. And once you are on your phone, depending if you have a um, Android or a iOS Apple device, you want to go to your Play Store. It should be the same thing for both of us, okay? Uh, just to give you an idea, there are three different apps. There is a Canvas parent app, there is a student app, and there's also a teacher app. So we're going to look for the Canvas teacher app, okay? So once you find it, it's going to give you an option to install. I have already installed mine, but I want to show you what's going to happen. So I'm going to open it, because I already installed it, and it's going to ask you to find your school. You can uh, find your school, but you can also log in with the QR code. And I want to show you that right now. So to create that QR code, because students might want to do this and you might want to create that for them, you want to go to account. And when you go to account, you have the QR for mobile login, okay? So you want to go ahead and click here, and it's going to confirm that you want to display your QR code. So you can go ahead and proceed. And it's right there, okay? And from here, you should be able to just save as an image and then print. So I'm going to just save as an image, okay? And then I'm going to print it, and then we'll come back to the video in one second. Have our QR code. Something to remember is that uh, it will tell you that the code is going to expire in 10 minutes usually. So it gives you 10 minutes to use the code, okay? Uh, let's go ahead and go back to the uh, phone app. And once you are back to the phone app, notice that you have the option to use QR code. So let's go ahead and click at it. And it's going to give you the same directions we already did to get that QR code. Go ahead and go next. And it should ask you to open your camera. It didn't for me because I had already opened it, but just allow it. And then you um, just point it to your QR code and you are going to be inside the app as a teacher. So that is how you do it if you are just using the QR code. Um, if you wanted to do it the other way, let me just log out so you can see it. So let me log out. Okay, let's go ahead and okay, say okay. So now you actually can do it this way. Just find my school. Okay, and then you will just type your school. For me, I'm gonna type Hacienda La Puente. And it should be the first one. So I'm just going to select that one and go next. And it's going to ask you to log in. And when it asks you to log in, you wanna make sure that you are using your Office 365 credentials. So let's go ahead and do that. And I should have it already in here. So the first time you do it, it's going to ask you, you won't have to do it again. And those are my credentials. So let's go ahead and go in. And notice that it's going to ask you if you want to stay sign in. I usually say yes. It's, it is completely up to you. But it's going to put you inside. So there's two ways of doing it. You can do it with the QR code, or you can do it with the uh, just login in. Okay. Um, really fast on the bottom, you have three uh, options over here. You have your courses, which is by default where I am right now. You have anything to do. So if you have a to do in here, I have to create an assignment that a student did. So I have to go in there and do it and I can just click and do it. And you also have your inbox. So you actually can go back and forward with your students uh, in here uh, to answer any questions. or so if they have any uh, concerns, you can uh, do it from here. OK, so again, courses to do an inbox. OK, I'm looking at all of my courses right now. On top up here on the hamburger, you also have some options, your files, your studio is here, and we have done some videos on studio. Um, the color over overlay that uh, no one seems to like. You can change users, and also you can log out. And your steady button is right here too, okay? Which just give you some, op some additional options too. So let's go ahead and go in one of our classes right now. So here is my class, and notice that it's going to basically show you what I have open right now uh, in my actual class on my desktop. My virtual classroom Zoom, my announcements, my discussions, my modules, people, and so on and so on. Now, when you are there, uh, you won't be able to create new assignments in there, but it's a great way to go and see what you have done, okay? Um, the main uh, tools are that you can actually communicate with students and you can also grade assignments. So let's go ahead and go back to to-do. I need to grade this right here. So I'm gonna go to one each grading so I can click on it. This assignment requires a student to just submit a website link um, so I can look at it, right? I can, if there were any files, I could see that, but I'm just gonna go and grade. 
So we can give the student a grade right here and say, okay. Okay, you can add comments and so on and so on. So that would be kind of a great tool. And finally, like I said, being able to use the inbox with your students to communicate, uh, to help them with any questions they might have on the homework and so on and so on. So this is just a quick overview. Uh, we will be, be making videos for the parent and student app. If you have any questions, please contact any of your tech tosses. Have a great day.